Well, hey all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time watching me, I am Brooklyn States and you are watching the Brooklyn States Life. <laughs> this is a lifestyle channel. So I am coming to you today with a video that is long awaited okay i know i've been doing some hauls you guys have seen me doing cooking and the whole nine and i've been saying that i have to make this video so i recently just came in and i was like let me sit down and make this video for you guys so please if you are not subscribed to my channel please take the time to hit the subscribe button it is a way of supporting the channel and please make certain that you do hit the thumbs up button to this video. Don't do it now, do it right now. <laughs> it's free to do, just hit the thumbs up. It's a way of telling the YouTube algorithm that I am saying something important. And then there are other people who may wanna see this video. And that is my whole goal of this channel to help people. I'm in the helping profession. Um, and so hit the thumbs up button, subscribe help this channel to grow, help this video to be seen by others, okay? So I appreciate you guys for all of the support. You guys know who you are, the ones that always, always watch my videos, always hit the thumbs up button. Thank you for all of you who make your nice comments. I don't even care if it's an emoji, a thumbs up, a smiley face, a star, a heart, I don't care what it is. It is interaction. Okay, and that helps the video to be seen as well. So please do that. Like as they say, share as they say, comment as they say, subscribe. That's why we all say that, okay? Thank you so much. And thank you so much again uh, for all of your support, okay? All right, guys. So what am I here to talk about today? Well, it is my one year post BSG, vertical sleeve gastrectomy, weight loss surgery date. So this is my surgiversary. Actually, it's past my surgiversary. It is one year and one month and a couple of days, as a matter of fact, uh, past my VSG surgery. This is a long awaited video, so let's get right into it. Can you tell that I am happy? Guys, I am like so uh, 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 excited, you know, I'm so excited, hey. So yeah, so this is the one year mark for me. This came by so fast, this passed like Zoom so fast, I could not believe that it's been a year. And so I wanted to come to you and talk to you about some of the ups, some of the downs, where I am, because a lot of people want to know, are you still losing weight? Well, how much weight have you lost? So I'm going to talk about all of that in this video. So stay tuned. Okay. So now you see me looking down It's because I have notes up as to what I wanted to talk about. And so I'm going to tell you all the stats and all of that stuff. And if you have any questions, just drop it down in the comment box. Or you can, if you want to have a private question, you can message me on Instagram at Brooklyn Stace and the number two, okay? And so Brooklyn Stace and the number two, or just drop it down in the comments. Remember the comments on here are positive. We deal with positivity only. So if you're watching and you're a negative Nancy or a negative Norman, eh, that's not welcome. And guys, if you see anybody being negative in any way, shape or form, report them block them, they will be blocked anyway because I don't deal with the negative. But guess what? That's not happening over here. This is nothing negative. We deal with positivity over here. Everyone that watches me in the family, you are all giving me positive vibes, which I love. And it's just good to be nice, right? It's too many negative people in the world. It's too much negativity going on in the world. We need to support one another. We need to love one another and we need to help one another, right? Okay. I said all of that. And so one more piece of, of a shameless plug. Yes, I have on my I'm So New York shirt. You see that with the apple? This is an original design. Not many have it. So if you are a New Yorker or if you love all things New York, you need to pick one of these up. It come in multiple colors. Go to the I'm So shirt.com. If you're not a New Yorker and you want your city, your state, your customized shirt, 
hey, go to the I'm So Shirt, follow them on Instagram, message them. Um, and there's even a, a code that you can get 10% off of, of your first purchase. Uh, so just go ahead on in the description box, which is below, hit the little arrow below and it will bring up the links to, uh, you know, the I'm so sure and some other good stuff. All right. So I just wanted to tell you that part. All right. Now, in regards to the one year surgery, let's go ahead and get the problems out of the way. All right. So problems. There were some previous issues, you know, and people always ask me, hey, did your hair fall out? Yes, my hair did shed and my hair has always been long. I'll try to insert some pictures here. And so as you see, my hair length is not an issue, but it used to be really, really super thick. And because of the surgery, the hair does shed. I mean, you're going through so, so much. Your body's going through these drastic changes. And then you're not eating enough. You have to wait. You get your nutrition, your protein, your, your water, your vitamins, your minerals. And, you know, it seems that even if you have the best of the best um, in hair vitamins, your hair is still going to go through some changes. That seems to be all across the board. Um, you know, you see people and other videos that you may have watched where they talk about their hair. Some people's hair has uh, shed even more so than, than others. Um, it just depends. Some people have not had a problem with their hair. Uh, you know, some people have a really bad problem with their edges, to which I don't. Now, you know, it has been just a little bit, but you know, overall they don't have an edge problem. Now, this is crocheted hair in my hair, you know, so, but you know, you saw my hair. I don't have a problem with length. I just have a problem with the fullness, the thickness. So I'm working on, um, some, um, some new products and I'm still testing it out before I go public with it. So stay tuned uh, for that, you know, in the future, because I, one thing I believe in is helping people out. And if I know something and I know something works and I know something has really great ingredients, I'm going to let the public know because I'm a registered nurse. So I'm not going to put anything bad in my hair or in my body that's trash. I want good things because I want good results, right? So just be on the lookout for that, um, those things. And I will be letting uh, you guys know um, about that. But yeah, that's the thing with the hair. You know, it's, um, you know, your hair will recuperate. And you guys know that I use my collagen. And everything that I'm talking about, again, just go to the description box. So, you you know, just watch uh, my video. I talk about my collagen coffee. And, you know, just go ahead and watch my videos. Go through the playlist, the VSG playlist, so that you can see a little bit about what I'm talking about and you can see for yourself, okay? Now, that's that with the hair. So now, also, um, in terms of the big C. What do I mean about that? Constipation. People say that's too much information, but listen, I'm here to be real. I'm here to be transparent. I'm here to tell you, just like some other uh, YouTubers, and tell you some other YouTubers don't want to talk about it. I mean, we're all human, oh, so you know, we all do excrete things, okay? So let's just be real about that and not be so, oh my gosh, because, you know, as if you don't do it. <laughs> so that always, you know, makes me uh, laugh, chuckle a little bit. But now I don't have any problem with that anymore. Everything finally checked out, checked itself out literally. Um, you know, what I did to fix that, fiber, 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 water, 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 green leafy vegetables, uh, things like chia seeds, flax seeds, prunes for me, apples, green leafy vegetables, um, things like that. And then... You know, you have to exercise, you have to move around because you 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 want your body to move around so that you can move it around, if you know what I mean. Um, and so also, you know, taking a stool softener and I've shown you, you know, what it is that I take with that. And I'll try to put some things up on the screen somewhere around just to show you or, you know, again, in the description box, if I don't if you don't ever see it on the screen, just go in the description bar uh, or the show notes, as they say, and, you know, just look up some things and where you can get these things. Um, also, that smooth move tea. I talked about that. Um, another girlfriend of mine, uh, she had gastric bypass and I had to sleep.
So she told me about that smooth move. I've tried it, works wonders. And you know, it's all natural. It has herbal ingredients in it. So I do recommend that. Uh, but you know, anything that I say, I am a nurse, but I'm not your nurse. I'm not your healthcare provider. I'm not your doctor. Please discuss all of these things with your healthcare team. I am not here to give you anything to treat, cure, uh, any diseases, any suggestions, because I don't have a medical degree. I am a licensed professional with an RN degree and an RN license, but I'm not an MD and I'm not your surgeon and I'm not your nutritionist, okay? So make sure you, you discuss that. And I just wanted to give that disclaimer all throughout this video. All right, so um, that's that. Now, um, also, like I said, hydration. You have to get you know, your water, take your, your sips of water. It's hard in the beginning. Oh my goodness, is it hard in the beginning because your stomach is so swollen. And once that swelling goes down, then it allows more for liquids. And so, you know, take your time eating. That's another thing. Some people may eat too fast. You know, um, follow what your doctor says about all that chewing. My doctor didn't say chew 100 times, chew 50 times. No, 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 no. Just chew your foods. Make sure you chew it to almost liquid, you know, or to almost, you know, to a pureed form. Now, in terms of drinking, I can drink fluids um, sooner, closer, because remember, if some of you may say, your doctor may have said, or you may have heard um, to take, drink 30 minutes after you eat, or 30 minutes before you eat, or maybe an hour before you eat, or an hour after you, well, I don't know if you can do an hour, but you know, I can drink sooner than that. Now I've taken sips of water prior to me eating. Um, and I've taken sips of water when I just had to have something to wash the fluid down, wash the food, excuse me, down because of the fact that, you know, when you're eating food and you just, you're used to drinking and eating. And then that's something, you know, mental where you're like, okay, I can't eat anything. You know, I can't eat anything and drink anything too in too close to proximity to one another. So that's something to kind of get used to guys, you know, but it, it becomes routine and it's easier so now a year out I don't adhere too much to that rule and I can you know drink something really quickly soon after I eat and it doesn't make me sick but now I don't take big gulps just something to help me get the food down because I'm on a regular diet at this point um, now I wanted to say in regards to that you know I watch all my videos you see the things that I cook I still do intermittent fasting because I was doing that before I ever decided to have a uh, vertical sleeve gastrectomy. I didn't even have a doctor and I was just doing uh, intermittent fasting and I was doing the keto diet and I changed from doing strict keto to low carb and low sugar. My motto was that I was going to eat as if I were a diabetic so that I didn't become a diabetic. Why? My hemoglobin A1Cs were slowly inching up, inching up, inching up. And I said, I did not want to, you know, get on that a diabetic train okay so i was like let me derail my own self and get off the diabetic track because that's where i was heading so you know i did something about it and so that's when i went to strict keto and i stuck with it i mean i stuck with it because it's a mental thing a lot of things are mental some people may be watching me and say well you shouldn't you know didn't have to have the surgery that was the mental just put the fork down here's what i want to say to um those who may be thinking that um you, we don't know what each one of us out there, we don't know what, what's going on inside our bodies in terms of genetics, in terms of hormones, in terms of other comorbid uh, medical conditions. We don't know. So it's unfair to look at someone and say, oh, all I did was I ate less because I was told that as a young woman and as a teenager to put the fork down as a young uh, adult put the fork down and move more calories in calories out. Again, I'm a nurse. All I did was stand and walk for eight, 10, 12 hours in the hospitals, nursing homes, private duty, um, you know, up and down New York city subway stairs, um, just dancing. You know, I love music as you guys know. So I love to dance. This is all that I did. I went to plays and festivals. I was an active person. So when I would go to the doctor and they would say, Put the fork down calories in calories out no one even thought to look deeper and found out that it was a hormonal issue it was a hormonal imbalance years and years of a pituitary gland issue um, that no one picked up 
I was misdiagnosed and I'm a healthcare provider. So I was really frustrated with it. But this is what I want to say to you. Some people, it may be a pituitary thing. It may be a thyroid thing. It could be other things going on inside your body that messes with your metabolic symptoms, your metabolic I shouldn't say symptoms. It causes metabolic symptoms, but it messes with your system. It slows down your metabolism. Uh, it just messes with you. And it's a really frustrating thing. It, it really is. So I feel each and every one of your pain out there as a healthcare provider, I do not as a human being judge other people. And so sometimes you just need a little help. You know, sometimes you go on years and years and years and things are damaged, but it does not mean that these things cannot be fixed. And so it just takes a, a little time or a lot of time. And for some people, no matter what it is that they do, things just don't work. So for those of you who have made that decision to, to improve your life, your quality of life, kudos to you because that's what I did, okay? And it was not easy. That's another thing that people that are truly ignorant, and when I say ignorant, this is not to disrespect anyone. Look up the word ignorant. People are truly ignorant out there and they just spew things out their mouth based on what they think that they know and they really don't know. You know, and so, um, you know, out of ignorance, they speak. So for those of you who are a little bit more thinned skin, don't let them get to you. Just know that, you know, it's not your fault all the time. And we can't help how we were made. We can't help what genetics passed on to us. We can't help how our bodies interact with certain things and foods and drinks that we put in it. That, that it does not work that way with other people. You ever wonder why some, some people could just eat anything? They just eat bad, but they look like they came out of the gym. It's like, it's not fair. That's like men with long eyelashes, long hair, perfect eyebrows. It's just unfair as a female, right? So I just wanted to say that. Don't beat yourself up about it because I surely didn't beat myself up about it. I just thought, hey, I can fix this. You know, I'm smart. I can do everything. I can fix this. But guess what? I would fix it and then it would bounce right back. Fix it, bounce right back. Lose weight, gain weight, lose weight, gain weight. How much longer is that cycle going to continue? So I said I wanted to try everything that I knew how to do. And then if that didn't work, then I would go and move forward to it. So I, that is why you see me say I lost 75 pounds before I ever even knew uh, that I wanted to have weight loss surgery. I just did not want to uh, continue to go up and down, up and down. And so I know that I needed assistance and this is what I decided to do. So you make your own decision for you guys. And I don't mean to you know, beat a dead horse about this or be on a soapbox about this, but I just wanted to come to you that may be out there and just at a loss, don't know what to do, where to go. And you're listening to people tell you certain things, but you know that you want something different. Go and get a consultation. Talk to your doctor, you know, ask your doctor to recommend you to a good bariatric surgeon. Do your due diligence and read up on bariatric surgeons in your area. You know, speak to a nutritionist, ask for referrals and, you know, to help you make your decision and you make your decision for yourself. Okay. Don't let anyone deter you. Uh, don't let anyone hold you back. Don't let anyone tell you what it is you can do because that's your life and it's your body, okay? And you do what's best for you. That's what I wanted to say about that, all right? And so where was I? I mean, I was on a soapbox, wasn't I? But, you know, sometimes I can do that because, you know, this is Brooklyn State and sometimes I get on the Brooklyn State soapbox and once I get on that soapbox, you know what I mean? Okay? <laughs> I'm real on this channel. I'm Brooklyn State and this is what you're going to get, okay? Um, so... That's what I wanted to say about that. So now, where was I? We talked about how hydration. We talked about hair. Um, exercise. I am going to, I've recorded so many different things, guys. I'm going to be uh, getting some videos out uh, to you and take you on a trip with me when I exercise. What do I do? I love the water, okay? And I'm a Libra. Shout out to the Libras out there. Hey, my birthday is coming up, 10-10. Anybody knows the New York 1010 wins, you give us 22 minutes, we give you what? The world. 
<laughs> that is a, a radio uh, station, a, a news radio station. You had to be in New York to know about it. But uh, that's my birthday. So shout out to my fellow Libras. Shout out to the Virgos and shout out to the Scorpios because your Virgos are before Libras and Scorpios are after. Just shout out to everybody out there. You know, happy belated birthday. Happy birthday early. But you know what? 1010, that's me. So, you know, I do accept gifts, okay? All right, thank you. And so anyway, what I wanted to say to you guys is about the exercise. Um, I love the water. And I said all that because I'm like, am I a water sign? You know, I'm not too much into astrology and, and all of that, but yeah, but anyway. I love the water. The water makes me happy. Um, the water, I can do more in the water. Hey, I'm like an Olympian in that water, okay? So I have gone to water aerobics classes, um, you know, at the aquatic center, at the Y, and, you know, so enough for me to know uh, what aquatics uh, exercises to do to strengthen because I do need to tone up and do need to strengthen. And the force of that water, please don't get it twisted. Please don't think that, oh, that's easy. Have you ever looked at, at a swimmer? You looked at a swimmer's body? They are in shape for a reason, okay? So anything that you can do with the machines and the barbells on land, I can do in the water. Okay, and I'm gonna show you some of those exercises when I do post another video. And I do follow a, a YouTuber, I can't recall who she is and I haven't seen one of her videos in a while, but I do get um, tips on certain exercises to do, new exercises to do in the water to turn tone up certain muscles. I do anything from running and jogging and jumping jacks. And I mean, really, I get my cardio on in the water, okay? So that's what I do, I, you know, did it uh, at least three times a week. Sometimes I try to go every day, but then, you know, when I say every day, at least five times out of the seven, but then, you know, my body needs a rest. My knees need a rest. Okay. So I'll go every other day and, you know, give your body recuperation time and rest up and, you know, try not to push yourself too, too much. But, you know, and then when you're in the water, I have a tendency to push myself anyway. So, you know, when I'm in the water, I know I'm team do too much, but guess what? I feel it later on that day and the next day. So I need that extra day. So, you know, just be mindful of that. Don't push yourself, you know, a little um, at a time and ramp yourself up. But that's what I do in terms of exercise in the water, okay? And so that's exercise. Now, I also wanted to um, talk about uh, GERD or gastroesophageal reflux disease, if you have been diagnosed with that, um, or if you have reflux. Um, and you know, because either your stomach is too full, the, the sphincter in your stomach opens up, uh, you lay down too soon after eating, and you know, the food just comes back up. You know, the, the gastric juices the, they do come back up. Or, you know, you just have indigestion. You know, not everyone has it, and I don't have it all of the time. I have it nowhere near as much as I used to have it in the beginning of, you know, the surgery once I start reintroducing foods, because you will have to find what food sets it everything off for you. There's gonna be that one food that you find, maybe it's a food that you loved, maybe it's a food that you know you ate every now and then, it's not a food that you ate all of the time, but you're gonna to have to figure out for yourself what food is that. Is it gonna be dairy? Is it gonna be onions? Is it going to be a extremely acidic food? Is it gonna be apples? Is it gonna be avocados? You don't know what that is. Is it gonna be a certain meat? You just have to figure it out. So um, it's certain foods and you know maybe certain times of day, maybe you ate too much, which is why I you see me measure my foods. I live by the scale and measure. I didn't wanna go over a certain amount. And then you wanna get used to what a certain amount of food looks like on your plate so that you will know, but you know, you listen to your body, you listen to your stomach, you know, when you, what your full signal is, you know, for me, it's a, you know, I'll start hiccuping or belching or, um, you know, it's like a lot of noises going on in there, but you know, I pretty much know what my full signal is as just as I know what my hunger signal is. And that is like this, you know, I have this acid and it might be in here, it might be in here. It's not a terrible pain. It's not a gassy pain. It is something that, you know, it is a, a gurgling going on there more so and then in my stomach. I do have gurgling sounds going on in my stomach, but I have this continued uh, cramping uh, disturbance up in here. And I'm like, you know what? I need to eat. And I, that's the acid uh, letting me know, hey, 
you know, my stomach's like, we need food, we need food, feed me. Because after I do eat, that feeling goes away. And that is my signal for me. Um, it may be different for you out there. Um, like I said, now I do have a stomach, when well, my stomach growls, I do have hunger pains as well. So it alternates, you know, between that feeling sensation here and then the the, the, the stomach pains, the, uh, the pangs, as they say, the hunger pains. So for everybody it's different, um, but one thing's for certain, and I don't wanna even try it, I have not thrown up since the surgery. Thank God, because that is the one thing that bothers me. Who wants to regurgitate? So, you know, I didn't want to get sick. So that's why I do not introduce, I have not still introduced certain things into my body. You know, you watch the greasy food. I have not had any fast food. Don't plan on it. You know, I cook a lot. Anything that you see me cook is, is like an alternative. You have to learn what your alternatives are to the things that you like. Just get the healthier version. That's why you saw me do the snacks. Do I snack? Yes, I do snack. Do I snack all the time? No, I don't all the time. But when I snack, they're healthy snacks. They're snacks that are low in sugar, low in carbs. And you know, for the most part, they're clean. Now there are some things that may not be as clean in terms of ingredients because you wanna watch your hydrogenated oils and your, your, your um, you know, saturated fats and and all of those things you want to watch those those things in in these ingredients now you know some things are processed a lot of foods processed nowadays you know so you want to eat as clean as you can um you know so when you see things and it's like oh my god you can't eat that you can't eat that you don't want to be so neurotic but you know just just watch out for certain things and do the best you can and so i don't introduce certain things into my body because i don't want to be sick who wants to throw up not me so yeah so that part you know so i you know think about it if you eat this is this going to make you sick do you want to be sick stacy so you know come on brooklyn stacy do you want to put that in your body do you want to go back to where you came from that's another thing i think of i do not want to gain this weight back i worked too hard to get it off i went through too much to get it off so you know that piece of food is not worth me gaining all the weight back or you know, you're going to gain some of the weight back that's going to be expected your bariatric surgeon will even tell you that expected to gain some weight back because you're going to be eating more you're going to be saying you know eating reintroducing more things tasting things and saying oh i can have this treat but the thing is don't treat yourself every day and don't treat yourself to so much your restriction is what it is your stomach is what it is is it going to stretch back out well there's controversy to that yeah you're going to be able to hold more so you know it's not like you're going to force you know it to be stretched out but yeah it, it will you know stretch back out will it ever stretch back to the size uh sp speak with your doctor about that you're, you're going to have a restriction um mentally you and I don't know how people are able to do this when I hear about this or see that that they're able to eat so so much I'm like how did they do that you know they have a restriction and you know it's so sad to see people uh, gain the weight back you know and it, it, that's a mental thing so yeah I'm really conscious of that and so, you know, that's a constant battle. It's not really a battle, but that's something that I put in my head that I don't want to gain the weight back. So therefore, I'm going to stick to the plan. Do I go off the plan sometimes? Hey, I may. Um, you know, I haven't yet, but you know, who's to know, who's to know what the future holds, okay? But, you know, that's that. So I want to talk about, you know, those foods. I can eat now almost five ounces if I get to five ounces, I am so full that I'm uncomfortable. But it just depends on what it is and how dense the food is. I'm still at right about 4.7, 4.8 ounces. Sometimes it's 4.5, you know, and I'm like, that was 4.5 months ago. But see, it's about how much I drank, how much fluid I drank, and what it is I'm eating, how dense the food is. You know, is it a lot of sauce in it you know or is it a uh, uh, high fiber food you know it, it just depends for me um you know haven't had you know those slider foods you know i do have some you know pretzels the protein pretzels protein chips um and so you know i haven't had popcorn yet but i'm gonna try that i do eat nuts um a lot of mixed nuts and you know that you know helps me out with the snacking and and the and the protein and it does fill you up and it does have healthy fats um you can watch my video on that where I, you know just take a, a a where i do make my own uh snacks and all the snacks that i make are in mine um to substitute 
for the bad things. And then again, they're healthy snacks, truly healthy snacks, low carb, low sugar. Speaking of sugar, I, you know, have used some honey, but you have to watch out for honey because honey is still, uh, it still affects your, your glycemic index. You know, it does affect your blood sugars. So you may think, oh, I'm, let me drizzle with honey. And I see some people I'm like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of sugar. It's still sugar. It's still like agave is still sugar. I use monk fruit sweetener because it does not affect your glycemic index. Okay. And that's, you know, for you people out there that have sugar uh, problems and it tastes sweet. So, you know, it's all in what you get used to. Some people like stevia. So it's all in what you get used to. Okay. Um, so um, that's that. Um, I told you that I can drink more. We already talked about that. Um, and I told you I'm on a regular diet, but yes, I, I told you that I still do intermittent fasting and I still pretty much follow a semi keto really it's low carb and low sugar i wouldn't say that i'm on a keto strict keto but i do watch carbs and sugars uh, because that does affect if you want to know what stalls your weight just think of what you're eating in terms of carbs and sugars and refined sugars and added sugars and you know fats that does stall your weight and of course not exercising you know because it's all a balance okay and hydration and sleep and all of those things and being a female out there with the hormones Oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, just um, make sure you check all my videos out to see uh, what it is that I do. Now, in terms of what I do when I do have indigestion, you know, there's ginger. I drink, eat raw ginger, ginger tea. There's ginger tablets and ginger pills. I'm not saying that's the only thing. There's Pepsi chewables. Those work really good for me and they get rid of it fast. So then there's that um, and the equivalent for that, you know, check with your doctor again. Some doctors may want you to take over-the-counter uh, neprazole or some over-the-counter fametidine. It's a whole bunch of things. So like I said, just check with your doctor and see what it is is recommended for you. I'm just telling you what works for me. All right. Now, um, here are some, some things some problems that were good to have oh my goodness i have had to go through my entire closet all of my drawers all of my things are just too big guys nothing i didn't mean nothing fits okay everything is too big even things that were tight spandex are now just too big. So I've invested in a sewing machine and learning to take certain things up, but most things are going to Goodwill, going to the Battered Women's Shelter, to the Salvation Army Women's Shelter, Dress for Success. Um, I have donated some things and there are things, so, so many things, guys, that I have with tags on it that I'm mad that I didn't even get a chance to wear. Um, either they were too tight or they were just too, way too big to begin with. And I just never donated them. I have things that are on, that are going to be on sale. They're going to be on Poshmark. So I'll be giving you that. And these things have never, ever been worn. Some things were still in the package. Um, they're just fresh out the package with the tags on them, with the creases in them. You will see them, you know, I'll steam them and everything, but you'll see them when I put them on Poshmark or maybe even eBay or maybe even another platform. But you know, they will be on sale. So look out for that. And you know, I, I can say I'm pretty fancy schmancy, you know, cause I have some New York clothes, some things that I don't even know where I got them from, you know? So um, yeah, so be on the lookout for that. But everything is too big, even down to my shoes, guys. So my shoes, I wore a size 10. I was never a wide width uh, foot. I never had a wide width foot, but sometimes I wonder, my goodness, do I need a narrow? Uh, I went to try some shoes on and I tried a 10, they were swimming. So I tried a nine and a half, then I tried a nine, and these were regular width. So yeah, you, you lose weight, in your feet i'm like what you how did how did my feet shrink you know i can understand how there's not as puffy as they were but again i never had a wide foot to begin with so be prepared for that um now in terms of you know my stats i'm going to get down to that as well but um i'm looking at my notes so i won't forget i know this is a long video but hey this is a one year uh update guys i want to tell you everything all right um and so now my scars down to a minimum and i'm going to show you my scars all right guys so i'm back and i kind of wanted to show you what my scars look like here so as you can see, you know, I still have the fat. And so, um, you know, my skin is what it is, but it's, it's, I'm working on it. So I'm happy with this, that's for sure. But this is 
uh, one scar is really tiny. You could see it right there. This is the second. This is the largest one. Uh, and this is uh, the largest one. So this one uh, is where they actually pulled. It's either this one or this one. I forget now where they actually uh, pulled the excess stomach that they cut away, um, pulled it out. And I believe it was this one. And this one was the scope. Uh, so that they can see and insert additional tubings and instruments into. And then this one is the fourth one. And then there is a really faint one. Um, and that's that's here. Um, and so that's those are my five. One, two, three, four, and five. So one is the liver retractor. So they inserted something here so that, you know, they can uh, retract the liver and, you know, there's, there's one for the assistant. Um, so he can assist the surgeon. And then of course that's the surgeons. Uh, like I said, what he, uh, they had something they put air and water in is there's all watch my videos. And I, you know, tell you, um, about that, but that's what my abdomen and my, uh, my skin looks like at this point and you know, what my scars look like. I, if I would have kept up with it, um, it probably would have faded uh, a little bit better, but I'm still putting uh, something on it as well. I wanted to show you also my waist beads. If you can remember from a video that I did, I showed you how my waist beads and I made a bracelet with my waist beads and I said I could make, uh, you know, some earrings. Well, check this out, guys. So these are my waist beads. If you can recall, uh, these waist beads were on me and remember I said I took about this much off and made a bracelet well now look how much more uh I can take off oh my goodness this is like amazing guys look at this excess this is a necklace already this is like uh, a pair of earrings a bracelet and maybe even a necklace because there are a lot of beads on here and I don't have it as as taut as I can but you know if I did I could actually make this even tighter look at that if i actually pull this a little tighter look at look how much excess this is this is crazy this is definitely a necklace and this is the size of my waist guys these are my waist beads you know these these are the waist beads that used to fit me and look at that look at that i mean it'll fall right off me it, it will fall right off me best believe but look at that look how much that is look that's how much my waist has gone down and you know just to show you you heard that it fell off me <laughs> so just to show you um you know even my shirt here that i have on you know if i pull it tighter this is me this is me now just think this shirt and i'm going to show insert a picture to show you when I had this shirt on, how it was fitting me and how it fits now. It is just huge on me, guys. And as you saw in my waist beads, I can take and make a necklace out of <laughs> my waist beads, the excess now. So yeah, I can make another bracelet. I almost can make another, I probably can, you know, twist it and stretch it because the waist beads do stretch and, and put it around my waist twice. Maybe that's, maybe that's too far, but you know what? I can definitely make a necklace, a earrings, a set of earrings and another bracelet with that excess. You know, I definitely can do that. So isn't that amazing how you see that? Yes, I do have loose skin. I mean, guys, when I tell you how much weight I lost, you're like, okay, yeah, you're gonna have some loose skin. But my skin was never, it was loose to begin with, even before surgery, because I've been big my entire life. I don't know what small is, guys. So therefore, yes, I do have loose skin. Am I concerned with that now? Mm -mm. Not really, because I, my body is still not finished. I don't know when my body's going to finish doing what it's, it's doing in terms of losing weight before I even think about having skin removal. And truthfully, I don't want skin removal. I don't have, you know, the scars that I showed you is, is the scars that's on my body. So imagine having scars on the underside of my arms and in my stomach and my thighs and 
I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know about that. And then that's painful. I'm a wimp. I am on the caregiver side of the bed. I'm not used to being a patient. So I don't want to have the surgery. I've taken care of too many people, taken care of too many wounds for me to even want to even go there and for myself. But guess what? If it bothers me too much, and certainly if it's a medical need, I will have that. But not so much cosmetic at this at this point. Eh, I'm not worried about that. But you know, we'll see what happens. Things may change. I'm going to tell you my stats here in a minute. Here we go. Are you ready, guys? Drum roll. Drum roll, drum roll. Okay, so my stats, all right? So when I first started, I don't know about my neck. You know, my neck is still doing its thing here, but it's getting better. But, you know, my neck was uh, a 14, 14 and a half. It's only down to a 13. So my neck is still the, you know, it, it's gone down, but not gone down as much as my other parts of my body. So my chest has gone down eight inches in my chest. Uh, my waist, guys, my waist has gone down 10 and a half inches, 10 and a half inches and counting, okay? Um, my hips have gone down 16 inches, guys. 16 inches in my hips is like crazy as well. Um, now my arms, you know, I have the bicep part of my arms and then I have the fatty part of my arms. So in total, my arms have gone down in the bicep part and then too, I'm building. So it's gone down about an inch and a half. Um, and it's gone down an inch, so about two and a half inches. But you know, my arms are small, but because there's still fat on my arms and skin on my arms, you know, that's what's, you know, keeping it you know, what looks to be going, not going down to actually gone down because, you know, I don't mind showing you, see, these are my arms. My arms are small, but you see the loose skin. So, you know, imagine the, the loose skin being gone and my arms would be small. My arms have never been this small guys. So, you know, I'm happy with that. It's just only so much that I can do to uh, strengthen my biceps and my triceps. But, you know, once I do strengthen that, I mean, you know, I do have, I don't know if you could pick that up, but, you know, you, you could see, you know, when I flex my arm, you know, the biceps, there it is, you see that? You see when I do stretch my arm there, you could see my biceps, you could see that, that movement. Come on, don't act like you don't see it. <laughs> That's not skin, but you know, the loose skin is there. You know, I do have the jiggle. I'm, I'm, I'm not here to, you know, tell you that I don't because I do. Um, but that's how my arms have gone down, but it's still going down. There's still fat to be lost. So like I said, I'm not there yet with the, with the skin removal. So I'm, that's way ahead. That, it's more important things uh, to worry about than a few uh, loose skin in my arms, okay? So in my thighs though, my thighs have gone down 10 inches, guys. 10 inches in my thighs, oh my goodness. That's why I can cross my legs now, you know? And that's something that I'm not used to doing. It's something that, you know, as a female or as a person, you just do automatically. And, you know, as a large person, it's something that a lot of us can't do. We can't do it comfortably, or you have to lean all the way to the side to throw your leg over. But now I could just sit straight and cross my legs and keep it there and it's comfortable. So, but with 10 inches gone off your thighs, yeah, uh, you'd be able to do that, right? And so that's my thighs. My calf is, calves are down three inches. Um, and across my stomach is even down. You know, I did like my hips and then I did my stomach because my stomach is the problem area. So that has even gone down, you know, 12 inches from where it started, okay? And so totally, I have lost a total of 63 inches. So do the math. What is that? I didn't do, you know, what is it? Yeah, five feet and three inches. That's like the height of a person. Wow. That's how many inches I lost off my whole entire body. 63 inches. You know what I mean? So that in itself is amazing, guys. I'm excited. I'm excited. I mean, oh my goodness, you just cannot, you could see it in my face, you could hear it in my voice. I mean, I'm excited for me. I know some of you guys are happy and excited for me, but guess what? If no one else out there is excited for me and happy for me, I'm excited. I'm happy for me, you know, because this is a journey. This is a long, hard journey. So, you know, when you come to reach your goal, and I'm not at my goal, I actually don't have a goal, I would say, maybe another 40 pounds, 
Um, and before I could say I'm at my goal, I, I didn't set a goal for me. I just wanted to be a healthier me, a better me, and a smaller me. And so I'm that. You know, if I could, if I stopped at this weight, I'd be okay with that. But you know, I want to see. See, I'm getting hungry. See a little bit of, a little bit of gas escaped. I'm getting hungry. It's time past my eating time. Um, so, um, and I'm not editing that out either because again, I'm real. I'm gonna keep this real here. Um, but since I'm not gonna tell you what my highest weight is, once I reach my goal, I'm gonna tell you all of that. But listen, my pre-op weight, since my pre-op weight to my current post-op weight, I remember I said I lost 75 pounds before I decided to have the surgery, before I even knew what surgeon I wanted, before that thought was in my head. I was just trying to get healthy and lose weight. So 75 pounds on my own. And then since the surgery, the day of my surgery to now, Drum roll, I have lost a total of 135 pounds, 135 pounds, one, three, five guys, 135 pounds since I've had the surgery. Can I get a yay, 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 go me. Go Stacy! It's your birthday. Almost go Stacy! Go Brooklyn! It's your birthday. 135 pounds, guys. Listen, I'm gonna celebrate me. Okay, so excuse me as I kiss the sky. Excuse me as I brush my shoulders off, my bony shoulders. At that, that's another thing. Bones. Oh my goodness, the bones that I feel now that is like crazy um you know i'm like ow is this what small people feel like when they're sitting down or when they're laying down you know things that i think that is that is wrong is actually right it's supposed to be there but see i've never felt that because i've always had so much fat getting back to uh, my bony shoulders let me brush my shoulders off because i'm 135 pounds down since the surgery VSG has been very, very good to me. Bueno, muy bueno. Gracias, paralo. Thank you for that. Thank you to my surgeon, to my whole medical team. Um, you know, if that was a Saturday Night Live thing. Shout out to Garrett Morris. Hope he's doing well. You know, he said, baseball is very, very good to me. Remember that, you know, you have to have, be a Saturday Night Live fan and have to be old enough to, to do that. If not, Google it. And you'll see what I'm saying. So that's why I was like, BSG or BSG is very, very good to me. Okay? Okay. Y yo hablo español. So, see, si, es porque me díselo. Anybody that understood what I said, I said, that's because that's why I said that. So, yeah. So, 135 pounds, guys, is just amazing. And then you add on 75 pounds to that. And what do you get? Three, two, mm. one. 200. 210 pounds. Whoa! Come on. Come on, shut up. 210 pounds. If I was to even think, to even fathom, I was walking around with 210 pounds of excess weight, but I was. That's amazing to see what the body can adapt to, how your body can adjust and, and just carrying around all of that weight. I wanted to do like uh, Oprah did a long time ago. Remember she had the weight in the wagon and that big fat, wad of fat. I want to get 210 pounds and just put it on my back just to see, you know, what it feels like now that I've lost that, you know, and since the surgery, 135 pounds of fat and just put it on my back or just put it in a wagon and dragging. Let me see if I could do that <laughs> because I just want to know what it felt like, um, you know, because now my body is lighter. It's adapted to being lighter. You know, of course, mobility is better. I still have my challenges because my knees hurt. I mean, look, Arthur is what Arthur is. Anybody know what Arthur is? That's arthritis. Had it as a kid. It's nothing that I had because I was overweight. It didn't make it better, but you know, I had it as a kid. So, I mean, that's that, okay? Um, and so I wanted to say that guys, 210 pounds overall, 135 pounds since uh, the surgery, 75 pounds prior to the surgery, just changing my habits 
And that is it. You know, my doctor said that he was so, so happy. I mean, I'm gonna show my doctor here. And he is such a nice doctor, such good bedside manner. And when he walked into the exam room, he was all smiles, his eyes were wide. And you know, that's something when a, when a provider sees that, when he sees success, when he sees his patients following the rules and doing what they need to do and have a great outcome to let them know that their work was not in vain and that the work that they did on the person and, and i.e. me, you know, really worked and that I followed, you know, what the nutritionist said, I follow, you know, you know, the psyche and what my brain said and, you know, follow what he said and, and just stuck to it. His eyes were so wide. What he said was, I lost 35% of my body weight. And so what he said was, you know, from when I first started, I lost 35% of my body weight. And he said, I had VSG. He said, some of my gastric bypass patients don't even lose 35% of their body weight a year out or period. He says, so whatever you're doing, keep doing it. It is working. He said, I'm so proud of you. And, you know, even the nutritionist, we've done virtual visits. I have yet to see her. We've been, been doing virtual visits. I'm going to make an appointment to actually see her. I sent her photos and she was just ecstatic, you know, about things. And so when your providers are so happy, when I went to my, uh, my gynecologist, my OBGYN, when I went to my endocrinologist, when I went to, um, even my primary care doctor just to have my little annual physicals that you know you do every year they were like ecstatic they were like oh my god their eyes were big and their mouths were just smiling i could see all their teeth and that just made me feel so doggone good guys you know when your healthcare provider is genuinely happy they kind of step out of their healthcare provider uh, side, you know, role, and they're just a regular human being happy for another human being, you know, because it is health, you know, and they know that I'm a healthier me and they know that I'm their colleague as well. So they're happy for me uh, on that end as well. And so, yeah, when my doctor said, you've lost 35% of your weight, he says, and I'm ecstatic for you. He said, that is amazing. And since then, you know, um, since my year, uh, my year, uh, last month, you know, when it was a year, I've actually uh, up to about 37% of my weight um, lost. I lost another, let's see, what is that? Six, seven pounds I've lost. Uh, so, and yeah, seven pounds. And, you know, there's been times when there's been weeks and I haven't lost anything. And again, that was when I hadn't been exercising because I went on, you know, a trip or went to visit someone or just said, oh, I want to take this week off or this day off. And a day turned into a week and, you know, I didn't get many steps in. And I didn't do a lot of aerobic activity. And then I might have lost one pound, two pounds, no pounds. So then for that month, you know, I've only lost six. But before, you know, the, the weight is now coming off at a slower pace. It's no longer 20 pounds a month, 15 pounds a month. It's no longer that rapid weight, you know, that you lose in the beginning. This is now actual fat. There's no more water weight because, you know, anytime somebody starts a diet, they get excited God, I lost this. Yeah, you have a lot of water that you're holding on to. And still, because we're female and certain times of the month, you know, we still have, you know, water weight that we hold on to. Um, but this is actual weight. This is actual fat now. And then, you know, so it is going to come off at a slower pace. And then also I'm building muscle. So muscle and fat weighs the same. So I'm increasing muscle, decreasing fat. So therefore the weight does kind of sometimes stay the same, you know, while that, that process is happening, but you know, it's still a matter of what I eat. So I am mindful of that, but guys, I'm so proud of me. And so, you know, like this video, comment below, let me know for all of my VSG babies, all of my gastric bypass babies, all of my duodenal switch, all of my bariatric patients, all of my, I said patients, see, I'm still in nurse mode. <laughs> all of my uh, bariatric brothers and sisters out there, drop a comment and let me know where you are on your journey. How much weight have you lost? How much weight do you want to lose? Are you at your goal? Some of you may have lost a lot more than me and may be further out on your, you know, from your surgery. Some of you may not even have had surgery. And if you haven't and you're thinking of it, let me be that inspiration for you. Let me tell you how it really is. 
and I have done that in my videos. Go back and watch my videos and make a comment. And again, you know, comment on this video, comment on the other videos, uh, message me in, on Instagram if you have a private message that you want to ask me that you don't want everybody else to ask me and I'll do my best to help you. Um, I'm going to start doing some consultations too because there are a lot of you out there who do have some questions and I will be doing that as well. So I'll be letting you know when I do start that um, as well because again, I am a licensed healthcare provider so I'm qualified to do that um, and I'm not just a YouTuber. You know, um, I am a professional. Okay. So with that said, make sure again, like, share, subscribe, comment on the video. Let me know where you are. Let me know who you are. Let me know where you're watching me from. Let me know something. Let me know your thoughts as long as it's positive. Okay. Like I said, I am your girl, Brooklyn Stay. So we don't want to go there. I would advise that. <laughs> but anyway, there's my Betty Rebel laugh. But um, guys, I just wanted to come and tell you, I know this was a long video, but I wanted to purposely tell you everything that I could remember to tell you from the top of my head, off the top of my head to everything in my notes. Hopefully I did not uh, forget anything. And again, you know, if you uh, have any questions, please reach out to me. Other than that, please remember to check my other videos. I'm coming back with hauls. I'm going to be doing some more cooking videos because, you know, I love to cook, especially, you know, with the healthy uh, part. And I want to show you guys, you know, give you guys some ideas and maybe you guys can give me some ideas because you guys are inspiration for me as well as I am maybe some inspiration for some of you guys out there. And, you know, you guys help me help keep me on track. This is help uh, me posting these videos and making these videos is helping me to stay on track, to be accountable for myself in this journey and to stay on track. Okay. So believe you me, you guys are as much as therapeutic uh, to me as I am to you in reading all of your great comments. I really appreciate all of you guys so, so much for all of your support from day one, from the new ones to the old ones. Uh, when I say new ones to the old ones, the subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And once again, as I always say, thank you so, so much for watching. Take care and be well. Bye-bye.